What would happen if you punched a T-Rex? Let's fossil it out. Welcome back to Prehistoric Parade. On today's show, a topic my cameraman Dave is pretty pissed about. Come on, Dave, we're not punching you. <laughs> Anyways, first off, a lot of preparation goes into punching a tyrannosaur. Think Joe Exotic hiring a hitman to kill Carol Baskin. You gotta do some digging. So let's start preparing. The first thing you should know is that T-Rex actually had an awesome sense of smell. In a 2008 study done by the Royal Society of Biological Sciences, the olfactory bulbs, or smell centers, of a Rex's brain were found to be larger than any of the other dinos they studied, and their work in 2019 estimated that T. rex also had about 650 olfactory receptor genes. A revolutionary amount for the Cretaceous, and also roughly the amount of Kit Kats I've eaten since quarantine started. <laughs> this means that T-Rex had a similar sense of smell to that of a modern-day vulture, who can smell all sorts of dead stuff from over a mile away. The point is, you gotta be careful. I advise staying downwind at all times, something I do not suggest if you're in the room with my father. So, since pine trees evolved around 154 million years ago, putting them right in the path of T-Rex, you should probably use the old tracking trick of crushing up a bunch of pine needles and rubbing them on your hands and your face to mask your scent. Sticky. And since T-Rex's arms weren't good for anything other than attempting the most pathetic push-up in the known universe, poor Rexy. Scientists hypothesize that T-Rex probably used trees to scratch their backs against. I suggest hiding next to one if you want to get up close and personal with this lovely lizard. And now, for the punch. Let's assume you're aiming for the face, which on a T-Rex is about 12 feet or 3 meters off the ground for a big gal. So bring an appropriately proportioned ladder with you according to your own dimensions. But now you just look like a nutritious evening lizard snack on a silver ladder. And T-Rex actually had an excellent sense of vision with 3 inch eyeballs that may have been able to see 10 times clearer than humans. Don't believe everything you watch in Jurassic Park, except not to ever challenge a velociraptor to a game of hide-and-seek. As a famous paleontologist once said, Don't you dare stand still in front of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Are you freaking kidding me? You look like a sitting chicken nugget. So you're going to need some camouflage. Probably a ghillie suit, a set of clothes that help you blend in with the environment and scare any and all pizza guys during Halloween. Natural brush and bushes and or my hair should be enough to hide the ladder. Swear to God, there's enough to start a colony of cynodonts in there. Okay, so now you're all set. You got your pine needles, ghillie suit, ladder, and an extra pair of underwear because who on the face of the earth wouldn't wet themselves when they came face to face with this? Well, probably Chuck Norris, but he's an anomaly. Never include Chuck Norris in a data set. Rookie mistake, my friend. For the punch. So, according to NASA, an organization that shot five mice named Fee, Fi, Fo, Fum, and Thuy into space with a force about 40 times more powerful than tow anti-tank missile, Strength is the ability to generate muscular tension to an external object using the skeletal lover system. Just look at these guns. Mwah. Now, the average person is strong enough to punch from about 60 to 85 pounds per square inch. Assuming T-Rex had a tough, scaly skin that we found in dinosaur mummies. No, the Egyptians did not have pet iguanodons as disturbingly adorable as that would have been. These are just dinosaurs with fossilized skin. Give or take a few feathers, which it's safe to assume Rex had, the nose of T-Rex would probably be a pretty hard surface. Now I'm assuming that if you're going to be punching a T-Rex, you're going to go all out. 
I mean, you're going toe to claw with the Tyrant Lizard King. You gotta bring your A-game. So let's presume that you're punching as hard as you can, maybe 70 pounds per square inch. Considering that a Rex head is more than a thousand pounds with impenetrable skin and a massively thick skull. You're gonna break your hand. In a study appearing in the Western Journal of Emergency Medicine, about 67% of all injuries resulting from punching are metacarpal fractures. 11% are dislocations. In conclusion, you've just crushed your hand like a paper can and mildly annoyed a Tyrannosaurus Rex, who, by the way, we're going to be naming Deborah because the females were the scariest and coolest of them all. So what the heck is next? Well, you'll have to wait and see because now it's time for our weekly fossil fact. A Tyrannosaur tooth was approximately the size of a banana. I believe I can soar, cause I am a Tyrannosaur. So, would a T-Rex chase you? The answer to that? is maybe. It's fiercely debated in the paleontology community whether T-Rex hunted like a lion, chasing down its prey, or scavenged like our old friend the vulture off of carrion. But for our purposes, we want that high-speed chase, and you've made our friend Deborah pretty pissed, so she's coming for you. <coughs> According to a 2017 study done by William Sellers at the University of Manchester, T-Rex may not have been able to run, which is defined by having both feet off the ground at once while moving. So this bad boy was able to lope along pretty fast, it just wasn't strictly defined as running. This is still another hotly contested issue. If you want to start a bar fight between paleontologists, basically just walk into the room and shout, Did T-Rex hunt? How about run? The carnage of nerds would be like nothing you've ever seen before. All those broken glasses. Anyways, it's safe to say that T-Rex probably reached about 17 miles, 16 kilometers per hour, which doesn't put you in a real good place because the average human can only get up to about 10 miles, 16 kilometers per hour, and that's pushing it. So what would happen if you punched a T-Rex? A moment of superiority, followed by a lifetime in the stomach of Deborah, slowly decomposing. Worth it? Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed. Come on, Dave. D Dave, I had to do the episode. It's nothing personal. I loved your barbecue.